it's now become clear that we can actually make very simple genetic lesions in laboratory animals and increase their healthy lifespan quite considerably. As we tend to assume that this decline and loss of function that happens during ageing is an inevitable feature of life. So people wear out like cars or washing machines, it's just what happens. But we now know that's not the case. I mean, for a start, there are some organisms that don't seem to age at all. So hydra, the little freshwater hydra, sea anemones, it looks as though no matter how long you keep them going, they become no more likely to die and no less able to reproduce and do all the activities of daily living. Obviously where this whole line of research is going is trying to develop drugs that improve human health during ageing. So in the invertebrates we're doing quite a bit of testing of, of drugs that are already licensed for human use and one of the main ones is rapamycin which extends lifespan in flies and mice and we can make quite rapid progress in the flies with finding out how it works and what its downsides are and what its upsides are because one can do experimental um, evolution with flies. The generation time is such that you can select for flies that live for a long time over you know, the course of a few months. It's also entirely possible that ageing is not caused primarily by damage. It could be caused by things that are beneficial when the animal is young, particularly tissue growth, um, anabolism generally, but that become disadvantageous when the animal is older. Um, so that's called the hyperfunction theory of ageing. And actually a lot of the things that go wrong in tissues during ageing are because of inappropriate growth rather than because of damage. So there, there may be both kinds of things going on. And these are the sorts of questions that we'd really like to answer over the next few years.